Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We are here in the ASUS ROG workshop, complete with swords and punch out robots and <laughs> random sweatshirts. Uh, it's a, it's a good time to be alive. So in the last in the last video, we made this kind of like an Nvidia battle box style PC. Um, someone uh, someone commented and told me, "Hey bro, you didn't do green cables." You're right, I didn't. That's my bad. I mean, it looks good. I feel like with the black cables. But it would have been worth looking at green, so... Oh, the fans are weird still. It's fun. Um, but yeah, there's that one. Um, today, we're going to actually build in a case that I looked at uh, several, several, several videos back. So actually, this is a case. Um, I want to do like a, kind of like a small form factor build. So this is a very unique case for doing small form factor, maybe like a media PC, something you put in like your living room. Um, that's what we're going to go for today. And so this is a cool case. What's interesting when I tried to build with it last time is it was broken. This is the Fractal Design Node 202. Um, again, it's been a while since we looked at it, but look at how small it is. It's like, it's like a set-top box. Like, dude, it's like the size of an original Xbox. I'm just guessing, I can't tell. I don't have anything for scale, so, you know. But I would say, like, similar-ish. I've never seen it in real life, but, like, look, it's like, I mean, it's like a set-top box. Like, it's great, but it's gonna be a whole computer. So yeah, this was broken. Um, and by broken, I mean like there was a glitch with you couldn't put a GPU in it. So it was kind of a bummer because none of the CPUs in this game have onboard graphics. So basically we couldn't build the computer. So that was it. Um, but today we're going to do a small form factor building it. Something you might put like in your living room. Um, if you wanted like a media room PC, you know, you could put like a bunch of videos on it, but also play games, but it'd be like discreet and uh, quiet, but also like fairly power powerful, but um, quiet is the priority, I guess. So we're gonna look and see what kind of options we have to actually get built in this. So we take the top off and then we can pull this bottom panel off of it. Um, and obviously like in real life, you can put this up vertical like it is here, or you can put it down flat. Um, it had like little feet, pull the dust filters out. And yeah, there's not a lot else to take apart. Got a small little drive bay here. Looks like for a two and a half drive, maybe on both sides. I can't quite tell. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be fun. So this is gonna be a uh, micro ATX build, right? No, mini ITX, excuse me. <laughs> mini ITX build. Okay, so we gotta decide, do we wanna go Ryzen or Intel? I'm feeling Ryzen, um, which we only have two options for. The Asus ROG Strix X470i, which we've used several times, it's very good. Or we could go with this B450 Gaming Plus. This is a little more of like a budget uh, motherboard. Let's do it though. You can still overclock with the B450, um, I believe. I think you can. Yeah, I built a B450 computer IRL, and yeah, you can overclock on it. Pretty sure. So we're gonna do this, um, and we're gonna do ooh, CPU cooling is gonna be a bit limited. Wow, that's not totally surprising. Uh, I actually thought I was gonna have more than, more options than that. Okay, um, just, I need to just satisfy my curiosity here and just make sure the motherboard is not limiting my cooling options at all. It, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be. I just wanna check really quick. Oh, we've gained We've gained two more CPU coolers because these are specific to the LGA 1151 socket. Dude, this one would be interesting. What is this? The Thermal Take Engine 271U? What is this? Is that passive? Dude, I kind of want to use it because I don't really want to use the cryo rig. And I'm not using that Mortoni. No way. No way. I can't do it. So I'm going to do. Okay, we're going to go Intel because I want to use. Yeah, I want to use this. Okay. So CPU for this, um, we don't want something that's going to generate a ton of heat. You know, it's going to be in our living room. 9700K, ah, I don't know, man. Maybe we'll go like, we never do like i5. Maybe we'll do like an i5 8600K. I know, it's weird. We, we always go i7. This one, let's not. We're going to go, again, this is going to be largely for media streaming, but with like a little bit of game. So let's try that. Thermal face. This might be my first i5 build ever in a video, which is crazy. Uh, and we're gonna do the Thermal Take Engine 271U low profile. I am very curious. 
Okay, it is not passive, but it is really weird looking. What? I am excited to see this thing turn on. So this has got a really interesting style of fan. You've got like a bunch of counter angled outer fins and then you know these inner ones go their way so it kind of get like this swirling effect this is like a torque converter and like a like a car's automatic transmission that's super weird it actually probably has like sort of a similar eh, i don't know about that. i'm just making stuff up anyway we're gonna throw a quick uh we're gonna throw a big m.2 in here and then i'm gonna throw a couple hard drives in i want to get as much storage as i can in this one because again this is gonna be a media center and we're gonna we're just gonna say we don't have like a NAS, like a, a network attached storage drive. So we are gonna hold the media, any you know, real owned media, not streaming media here on the machine. That's what we're gonna say for fun. Um, yeah, Ram. Mm -hmm -hmm. Man, I might do Flare X. I know that's weird, right? But Flare X, actually no, that's kind of more of like a goodie. Oh, dude, I gotta find a build to use this crazy camo ram for a camo build. I don't know how I would do that. If only like you could do case modding or something, that would be really cool. Um, let's see. Not really gonna see inside it. Not that that really matters that much. Maybe. Like I wanna go with a ram I don't use because this is a good case to try to try new things. Uh, we could just go try and see silver. It's a nice looking RAM. Um, we're gonna do 16 gigs in it. That, wow, really? All the Triton Z silver is so fast. All right, 4,000 megahertz, sure. It's gonna fit our very silver theme here. Not that the theme is really something I care about that much, but hey, it, it, all, it, all, it all fits quite well. Uh, all right, let's look at some storage. I think I'm actually going to put that bracket back on, but I just want to see. Yeah, okay, so there's no room for four terabyte. Now, what would it do if I, okay, it can't fit because I don't have the bracket on. Hopefully I can put this drive, or actually, let me just make sure I can get my power supply in quick. Oh, oh that's right, there are SFX power supplies, that's right. FSP Dagger, that's a new one. Uh, 650 watt, that is plenty. Oh, look at that cute little power supply. It's so cool, like there are SFX power supplies, but you don't ever really see them unless you're in a case that require. So, but I was able to get that installed with the bracket here. Um, I'm very, very curious to see. Okay, so we can do an S, oh, it goes on the inside? Cool. And I'm guessing, yeah, nothing has changed as far as getting a, a, a three and a half inch. That is not happening. So we're going to go two, two one terabyte, two and a half inch SSDs. I really wish they had larger ones, but um, in real life, there are lots of larger options. Not in this game. So that is our largest. There you go. Okay, I think that is as much storage we can fit in this, I'm assuming. Yep, that would be right. Okay, so we've got power supply, we've got our motherboard, we've got our memory, we've got storage, uh, about three terabytes of storage, CPU, cooler, we need a graphics card, and I don't even know if there's room for case fans, because, okay, actually, I wanna look at this too. I wanna, I wanna plan this a little bit. So there are obviously dust covers that will go over those things, these dust filters, but I just wanna look. Okay, so we've got vents over each of those. I was trying to think like, in real life, what is this? Oh, the bottom, I was like, this looks foreign. Okay, um, yeah, cause like in real life, you'd want to think about like what kind of GPU do you want? Like what kind of fan setup? This one actually will work really well with like a, um, like a dual axial fan because it'll pull fresh air in. As far as where it goes, you know, not, not amazing. Cause like, well, I don't know. I mean, a blower cooler could work really well for this because I think it can, it can just go ahead and exhaust at the back, which could make sense in a case like this. Um, what's nice is this case actually supports pretty large GPUs. Um, so we got an i5, I don't wanna go too crazy, you know? Wait, what, what 20 series cards are in this, 2070? Ooh, 27 founders? 
2070 founders with an i5 would not be it. That's a pretty good matchup. We could do the EVGA one too. I don't know if I've ever used their card. Let's do it. Ooh, three fans. That is a chunky card. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. It barely fits. So yeah, so basically it would pull air up into the GPU, um, up through kind of the, you can see a little bit of the, um, you have the heat dissipation in there, the fins. Uh, I'm, I'm failing at what, it, why I can't remember what this is called, but uh, heat sink, God, <laughs> Whew, heat sink. Yeah, and then usually it goes in and kind of comes out the front of the card. So it wouldn't really have a lot of room to go places, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fun. Honestly, blower cards are not great anyway, so we're probably not losing a lot. We might just be gaining. But yeah, we can put our dust filter over there. We can put one up over here over the power supply, which will intake up through that fan and exhaust out the backside. And uh, there it is. That should be everything. I don't think I'll be able to boot it because I need to put the other side on. It has a power button. Um, can I not? What? Can I? What? Oh, oh. I need to unplug it. What's going on? Uh, is it not like being Okay. What? What is this? What do you want? Uh, what wire does it not like here? Uh-oh. I've angered it. Uh, what, what wire is that? Is it one of the GPU powers? What is that? I can't tell. Coming out of the motherboard. Uh, and then. Uh, okay. Can't tell. Ah, uh, you know it's just uh, it never it's never simple, is it? Okay. So okay, maybe I need to put the back on, and then we'll put the GPU in. Yes. Twenty seventy. Okay. That was all right. Different. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Oh, it does. Okay. So I got a power button now. Is it? Oh, right there. Beep. Oh, it goes down. That's fun. Boop boop beep boop. All right. Let's. Oops. Yeah. Let's go ahead. That uh, CPU cooler is fun. Look at it. It's doing stuff. Kind of fun. All right. I am curious to see how thermals are, so we're definitely going to do some OCCT. I'm also going to do 3D Mark, because I'm really curious what we do with an i5 and an RTX 2070. Uh, lighting, just in case we need to. And wallpaper, because I'm narcissistic. Okay, not much lighting in this one. We've got the motherboard, the graphics card. Uh, we've got our mouse and our monitor, I think? Or uh, mouse and monitor. Yeah, I think mouse and monitor. So, yeah, really no RGB on the board, on the, on the build. That's okay, like, it's not supposed to... It's not like supposed to look like anything, you know? It's gonna be discreet. No one's going to notice it. All right, um, cool. I think we're good to go ahead and benchmark it and see how it does, uh, but I should put it back together. Let's see how it does thermally. Side panel on. There you go, all that horsepower in a cute little box. And we put the stand on. It'd be kind of cool if in this game you could put it horizontally. I don't think you can. But obviously, like you can tell, there's little, little feedies here. See them? The feedies in there. Yeah. So you could put it down horizontal, much like you would like a set of blocks. But uh, vertical is also cool. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and benchmark it, and we'll see how it does. I guess we could just do thermals really quick and see how it does. Um, I guess. Um, actually, here one second. Let's go to infinite on that one and I'm gonna go and put infinite on like a on this like water cool build there's like a comparison which is not a fair comparison IRL because this has a ridiculously fat radiator and that one is all air cooled and it's in a really tight chassis so uh, this one should destroy it but again this is a game so who knows we're at 57 C on the CPU and 54 ish maybe what did it peak 50 53.4 Almost 58 on the CPU. Theoretically, this one should be much hotter. Uh, okay, yeah, so 74.6 on the CPU. 
cool. 56 on the GPU. Um, and I can't remember, this test doesn't test the GPU at all though, so that's really just an idle temp, I think. But yeah, um, CPU of 75C over 50, that's actually probably fairly accurate, 58C. It'd be cool to know if they're, like, it'd be cool if in this, in this game if you could, like, check and see if you were throttling. But you can't. I, mean, I can see what our clocks are set at, but like I can't actually see like what it's clocking at. So, um, but yeah, 75C, that's probably fairly realistic, honestly, for a stress test. It might even be a little generous, but not not bad. So, okay, gonna do a quick 3D Mark test, and then we'll be back to see how it does. All right, so we pulled a 7,837 here uh, for comparison. So uh, less than 8,000 on that one. This one's just over, what, 12,000, I think? Uh, yeah, 12,052, and this one was just two 20 ATIs and a top of the line thread river processor, uh, 18,980. Now again, this is a $8,300 computer. Somehow this is a $3,000 computer, but that seems really, really steep. I don't think an RTX 2070 is 825 bucks. I don't think. I feel like it's like... 600 like that seems like too much but whatever um the rest i mean i think you get a z370 probably for less than, uh, whatever i don't know it's a game you know stuff stuff fluctuates but anyway there it is so um that 75c uh under stress test on the cpu and yeah 7800 on high extreme so there it is a super ultra cool compact um pc that you could put like in your home theater entertainment system and you could game on it but you could also play games or <laughs> you could play movies whatever you know so uh there it is i've been wanting to build in the fractal node 202 for a while and uh yeah super fun super fun case It'd be actually really cool to build in real life so hope you guys enjoyed um and if you did enjoy and you haven't subscribed go and subscribe we're getting very close to 1000 subscribers so help me get there uh yeah super appreciate it guys thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.